we're so like protective of what we have and, and it yeah. feels yeah. so good you know like we have so much fun going on the road because of like i said it's like we've got the kind of band on days off you know most bands like they try to not spend oh, any time yeah. together yeah. like yeah. for us we, we organize trips together it's like we go yeah. hiking we go camping, we do things it's like you know it's like being with your best friends Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Belgian Jasper. If this is your first time on the channel, hit subscribe right now. The modern metalcore super band Light the Torch, which features former members of Kill Switch Engage, All Shall Perish and Bleeding Through, is back with a new album and I sat down with guitar player Francesco to learn all about it. Losing faith will always get the best of me. Francesco, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Uh, when we're recording this, we're about a month away of the release of uh, the new album. Now, on paper, some people that don't know the band as well will be like, oh, second album by new band. Uh, must be super exciting. I'm sure that releasing the album is super exciting, but obviously with the amount of experience in the band, um, you guys have seen it all. Uh, you've, you've done it all. How is this launch for you? Like, because I know it's a very emotional album, very personal album. How are you living up to this release date? Oh, just like very, very excited. Uh, first of all, I was like, finally after, you know, the, the crazy year we had to, you know, like experience, uh, you know, it feels even more special to, to finally see it out. It's like this record was supposed to be out, uh, be released last year. Mm -hmm. you know summer last year and with the whole like schedule that we had of tours and stuff so, so everything changed and then since then we've just been waiting and waiting and waiting and then finally now seeing like songs you know almost like at first almost felt like you know kind of like um, unbelievable <laughs> to just see it happening finally but yeah. you know like so far our response has been amazing and uh, here in the states has been great and um you know we we know also in europe it's been good and it's like yeah, i can't just wait to actually have the whole album out because uh if anything like it just i want i really want to see what people gonna how people can respond to the the all the songs you know the entire yeah. album You said, I thought it was interesting, I said like, well, we originally were planning on releasing this album uh, a year ago, um, in the year that has passed, especially when you think about, you know, those themes like anxiety and dealing with those big struggles, personal struggles. I would assume that, you know, given the last year, everybody, had, no matter who you are, where you live and what, whether you live in luxury or not, everybody has had to deal a lot more with those issues and, and a lot of people were forced to deal with yeah. mental health issues, anxiety that they maybe didn't realize they had to deal with at some point in their life. Um, have you noticed that the songs that deal about these issues, that re responses from the fans are are different or more more more? I think like in a way it's it's kind of like a perfect time for us to release this record also with the themes that like mm -hmm. lyrically and the type of music being uh, probably just have this extra depth and being more emotional from the past i think like it, it really is the perfect time for this it's like we we know that how like you know myself included it's like everybody had to deal with the uh, you know a dark time last year yeah. definitely was and uh and some people still dealing with it and you know it was really a matter of finding inner strength and then with help you know from like whoever you could have it around and um and and so i think like themes like this even people who had never experienced it before they got mm -hmm. to experience it and then they're taking it more seriously now Uh, for those that haven't had the chance to listen to the full album yet, but maybe have seen some of the titles of the tracks, they give you a way that again like, yeah. on this album, you know, it's not it's not always the happiest album. But at the same time, I find that you guys bring um, very uplifting music. 
and and yeah. and and very positive music and and that is also obviously in a name like light the torch that is you know yeah. that, that that is channeled there uh, more so even on this album with the artwork that you guys have used with the torch and the flames and and, and so on um on top of that obviously also howard's warm vocals when he wants to um is is that something that you agree with and that is is that something that the band is 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 proactively trying to channel yeah no absolutely it's definitely is like the the way you see our music like the the message we want to give like you know obviously like li like you said lyrics can be dark but mm -hmm. in the end it's always like some kind of a you know a positive outcome and that's how you know that's why like the, the music feels you know energetic and uplifting in the end mm -hmm. it's like we definitely don't want to just like leave songs where people listen to it and then you feel more depressed after it. <laughs> so it's like it, it's just basically a way to tell our story and basically show that we had have to go through all this you know uh, as well but you know kind of together it's like we figured out a way to just have a more positive uh, way to see life and um and I think like that's that's a specific thing with this band. What it feels like, it's 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 always like you know it's in the name, but it's yeah. like it is like this positive like uh, way to see you know things for the future for like you know things bad things happen, and then there's always a way to just look forward right. and hope for a better you know outcome. You know, Howard describes, you know, the music or the band as like, this is my family and we're, and we're working through things together. Um, is, is that, do you think going as a band through a lot of changes, and we'll come back to that in just a second, but um, working through an album like this through a time that we are experiencing right now, do you feel like that brought the band even closer together? Yeah, I mean, honestly though, like, uh, first of all, like we finished this record before the pandemic mm -hmm. so and it's kind of like a weird how like we were even talking almost a prophetic to, album yeah in, in a way it feels like it almost like a, a, a lot of people like even in the interviews that we're doing it's like people pointing out how it's like it feels like it had been written during the pandemic yeah and and, and, and this is the and right now it's the perfect time to have it you know released and uh it's it's interesting and i think like in a way this record came up came out uh, or like was written and uh, during a time that was our i think like basically after years of struggling within ourselves and within like you know dynamics in the band and like with the you know before we changed name and all those yeah. things and then it did feel like you know like and that's why we named the the, uh, the first album revival it was just right. like you know it w really felt like this is a, a new beginning for us and uh yeah so it's it's like the the, the themes are kind of like uh kind of surprising how like they, they really fit and then even to me it like feels like this would be perfect yeah, yeah. Like, like to be written last year but yeah and uh like yeah those are just like i guess themes that uh just happen naturally with our music and and now you know we know each other in a you know so much like we literally know so much about each other that there's like n there's nothing about like there's no attitude there's no like just yeah, trying yeah. to be like a different person around you know ourselves and uh and I think like this genuine kind of uh, like type of emotion, it's it's what we're trying to also like put into the music. And I think like it, it does come out in the music. It, it just yeah, feel yeah. if uh, like at least when I listen to this, you know, or, or I think about our band, uh, like it feels like genuine. And that's yeah. to me like it's a big achievement. through um, some some rough years with with this band and and some people leaving and coming um, resulting in the name change for 
people that are not aware, uh, we first had Devil You Know as a band uh, with two albums as well. Um, for legal changes that was following people, you know, leaving the band, uh, the change was necessary. In the long term, and I think you probably also agree that Light the Torches fits the band or the music, maybe, you know, or definitely in my perspective, way better than Devil mm -hmm. You Know. So, I, so yeah. it's probably all a good change. Um, but you've continued to play, you know, songs, popular songs of, of the initial albums and, and live sets with Light the Torch. And um, so I know that the, uh, I know labels and, and what have you are pushing very much like, oh, second, second album of a new band and, and what have you. Um, are you with this new strong record or do you think you will start to potentially phase out? Devil You Know era, or when well, you go touring like, again, should we yeah, still completely. expect? Yeah, no, completely. Like no more, no more of those songs. We, I mean, there's there's certain songs that we, they're just fun to play live, sure. and then they have That's the right good energy, releases for sure. Yeah, and, and sometimes like we we are on tours where you know that there are like the heavier crowd, the heavier bands like you know you tour with, and having having certain kind of songs. The, you know, it works, but in the end, it's like, it's getting to a point that it's like, we're not writing those songs, uh, uh, like with like Torch. And so it does feel like it's part of a different band. It's part of a different era. Okay. It's like memories and everything. So yeah, the plan is definitely, you know, okay. now we're not. All know, right, so we playing. should we should really just draw a line yeah. and, and say, this is a, a new band. Okay, well, yeah. um, uh, I, I briefly mentioned the, the, the artwork um, and it's closely, I think, related to some evolution that we see in the music. I know that you've described the artwork as inspired by John Carpenter movies uh, with some of the neon and color palette and, mm -hmm. and what have you. Even for people that haven't had a chance to listen to the full album, but listening to a song like, you know, Wilting in the Light, for example, there's there, there's a good amount of John Carpenter influences there. Sometimes they're quite subtle in the background, sometimes a little bit less. Yeah, yeah, no, I, absolutely. I mean, I, you know, I grew up watching a lot of those movies and it's like, so that's obviously part of, you know, who I am. And then also like the music in those movies. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and I think on this record being uh, just having more like synthesizers, like you, you hear that, that element, those layers more. And uh, and I and I like the the you know the yeah, yeah, yeah. scenes that are come from the '80s and '90s. You know, it's like uh, one of my favorite movies with the soundtrack Blade Runner. You know, so it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. the things that do sound like the '80s and '90s. And um, so obviously all that, but brought with like this more like modern edgy kind of feel. So I think like that that artwork really has all those elements. The synths definitely play, you know, um, or the whole neon vibe, let's call it, plays a, a yeah. more stronger role. Uh, nevertheless, on the whole album, it's still quite controlled, but given your passions, um, do you ever feel like, let's just go crazy and like, let's, turn it up a lot and, to, and and put in like, you know, Claudio Simonetti uh, soundtrack vibes and stuff like that? Well, like, uh, yeah, obviously like soundtracks for me are, are a big part of me. Just the fact that I have degree in film scoring. So it's like, it's what I studied and yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan. I'm, I always bring that. And um, I think like in a way, like my, like the initial demos, for example, that I brought in the studio, in general, even the songs that didn't really get changed, in my versions, like the synths <laughs> were just louder in the mix, and uh, and then it became more like a band. Like, well, I mean, because we don't really have like a keyboard player live, right? So it's yeah. still like something that we play in the in the tracks. But I think like uh, I see, you know, one of the possible evolution of this band could just be like, you know, more and more of that because uh, actually it's something that. Also, like during the past years, like I just got more and more into it, and then just like experimenting with sounds, and just like sometimes I spend hours just like manipulating a sound and just like yeah, or creating. Yeah. And it's it, it is music. It's like it is like music, like a you know a sonic research. So 
Sure. It's it's all part of like what I'm uh, I'm really into it. I'm always like you know with the guys like you know Howard and Ryan being used to maybe like different kind of thing. I'm always like <laughs> skeptical like if I bring something like for example a song like Become the Martyr. Yeah. You know where basically guitar and bass don't come in until like you know verse comes in middle of the verse and uh, like the guitar comes in middle of the verse and bass comes in during the chorus. Before that is only synth and drums and vocals. And I, and I love that. I, I mean, I, to me, it does like, to me, with music like this, it's so like key is like really like being able to create interesting dynamics. Yeah. yeah. And just like, having this like just a change of vibe during, you know, like the record. Yeah. yeah and yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I definitely, am, I see myself going more crazy with this stuff. <laughs> On this album, you guys bring a big sound. Like almost every song sounds like an anthem that is written for a stadium, not for you know a small bar. Um, the the sounds uh, that you do talk about and the and and the uh, the atmosphere, it, it, those are all ingredients to build a really cool live show as well. Um, but you guys are a three piece now. Um, you will obviously bring a drummer on tour yeah, of course. Um, yeah but even with a drummer added um unless you tell me otherwise a lot of the songs that they as they sound on on, on the album requires more than uh than, than a drummer bass player and one guitarist um are you so either you have to bring more people as guests on tour or either you have to use audio magic and tracks and so on to, yeah. to, to fix that what how like what would be your preferred way and what are you planning because you must be well, rehearsing I, these these songs and have to bring them live I think, I think in the long run what would be perfect would be to find more band members that you know they're fun to hang out as much as like howard and ryan and then make sure that we all like you know work well together because like right. that's the one thing is like the, the reason why you know we're we're a, it's a three-piece basically i mean it's, it's obviously like a four piece but it's like the, the band is three people it's not because you know we don't want to have like a drummer be part of it it's just that with our previous experience i mean my previous experience two bands ultra pairs and devil you know it's like drummers were a nightmare to deal with so it's kind of like what and the both times where the people they came after the band and like lawsuits and all that so yeah let's be let's be cautious with just getting new band members yeah and so for now like the drummers are people we hire to do the record and we hire to do the live shows so you know but also that it's like again when we go on tour you know you're playing like an hour set but then the rest of the day the tour is made by just hanging out with, with your with your friends and right now it's like it feels so nice because we're you know we're literally best friends yeah and uh you know there's it, always like the risk of bringing more people and then they start changing the dynamics that uh you know that you're so care about so that's definitely like i said ideally i would want to have like yeah, yeah, yeah. a keyboard player maybe and then uh, i don't know a second guitar player or things like that but then when you when you start thinking about the the idea of like you know auditioning people and then go on tour and maybe this it's not gonna be like a lot of fun. Uh, the same thing you deal with like when you hire crew, you know, it's like when, mm -hmm. when you find the right crew, you wanna keep hiring those because like it's For so sure. hard to find the right people. And uh, so I, I think it's like eventually, like uh, with the time probably, you know, to have like a bigger band. But as of right now, I think like we're so like protective of what we have and, and it yeah, feels yeah. so good you know like we have so much fun going on the road because of like i said it's like we've got the kind of band on days off you know most bands like they try to not spend Avoid any time together. Together. Yeah, like yeah. for us we, we organize trips together it's like we go yeah, hiking yeah. we go camping, we do things like you know it's like being with your best friends so yeah yeah, yeah. all right well i mean yeah uh extra tracks don't have an attitude <laughs> so that, exactly. That, that, that helps. Them. 
Francesco, I want to thank you so much uh, for your time today. I, I do really hope to see uh, Light the Torch live uh, yeah. here in Toronto soon. And um, I've had a chance, obviously, to listen to the full album already, and I think it's a phenomenal album. Like I said, it's a positive okay. album that a lot of people need right now. So um, I wish you all the best with uh, the next few weeks in the release cycle. Is there anything else that the fans should know about that is coming their way? Oh, I think the, for now, like this is pretty much everything, you know, June 25th and just, well, I mean, there's going to be a few more surprises before the album comes out, obviously. It's, yeah, yeah. You know, it's a month, with definitely other things coming out, but, but yeah, it's like, uh, and so far, I mean, so far, like, just want to thank to, you know, people being so supportive and being so good with comments and like, just just showing how much like they, they like what we, what we do. Awesome. Well, Francesco, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And I wish you all the best with the launch of the new album. Thanks so much. You are awesome for watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.